this video we will be studying about what is statistics see the practice or science of collecting presenting interpreting and analyzing numerical data in large quantities especially for the purpose of inferring proportions in a whole from those in a representative sample. See the collection of data and then presenting the data and then taking some information out of it and analyzing it for the further processes. The numerical data in large quantities is the statistics. See, if you say that a cow has four legs, this is not statistics. Everybody knows that the cow has four legs, and although it is in numeric, it is in, uh, in numeric terms, but still it is not a statistic. Now let's say average height of the 26 plus male people in India is 5.6 inches is your statistics right what is statistics in a plural noun see statistics in a plural noun refers to information in terms of number or numerical data see uh, whenever you are you have a data which is in numeric that is your statistics in a plural noun now let's take the example that Ram gets rupees 100 per day. This is not the statistics. Because you cannot draw anything out of this. He gets rupees 100 means it's okay, he's getting rupees 100. But when you say that average pocket alliance of class 10 is rupees 100 per month then it is a statistics in this you are drawing something in this you are drawing some result but this there is no result which you can interpret from this you can interpret the result that the average pocket allowance of class 10 is rupees 100 per month. So in this way, the statistics is a plural noun when it, should, when it is expressed in numbers or numerical data. The first one we have is the features of statistics 
as numerical data or the plural noun is the aggregate of facts see there should be some facts attached to your data whenever you collect in order to term it as a statistic a sim single number does not constitute statistics no conclusion can be drawn from it let's suppose you say that there are 10000 students in a in your college there is no information that is derived from it apart from this that there are 10000 students in your college but when you say there are 4000 students in science 3000 students in commerce and 3000 students in arts then it gives some sense which means then you have analyzed the data and given some and have give, given some result on it then this is a statistic so a stat all statistics are expressed in numbers you express the statistics in numbers but all numbers is not statistics second we have is numerically expressed Statistics are expressed in terms of number. Qualitative aspects like small or big, rich or poor, etc. are not allowed in statistics. For instance, you can write that the height of, uh, let's say, Ram is 5 inches, the height of Sham is 10 inches, and, uh, and other person you can compare. But if you write it just like 10, 6, then it is not a statistic so numerically expressed so statistics are numerically expressed so it is affected by multiplicity of causes statistics are not affected by any single factor but are influenced by many factors had they been affected by one factor alone, then by removing that factor, they would lose all their significance. For example, 30% rise in the price may have been due to several causes. Maybe like reduction in the supply or increase in the demand or shortage of power or rise in the wages. See, if your uh, Maggie used to cost rupees 10, but now your Maggie costs rupees 12. There is increase in the price of Maggi. Why this price has increased? Due to the demand might have increased or supply might have reduced. If this, maybe the cost of production have increased. So your single affair is affected by the may various causes reasonable accuracy which means whenever you collect data it should be accurate it should not be uh, have any flaws so the reasonable accuracy is the other feature placed in relation to each other Such numericals along will, alone will be called statistics as they are mutually related and so comparable. Unless they have the, they have the quality of comparison, they cannot be called statistics. Under analysis that you cannot compare that particular statistics with data with anything, then it does not have any meaning. So it is not the statistics. Sixth is your predetermined purpose.
whenever you are collecting a statistical data and you are using some statistical tools in order to derive the answer you have a predetermined purpose that why are you collecting that particular data and what things you want to analyze from that data that is the predetermined purpose seventh is your enumerated or estimated statistics may be collected by enumeration or the same be estimated if the field of investigation is vast the procedure of estimation may be helpful for example 1 lakh people attended the rally addressed by prime minister in delhi and 2 lakh in mumbai these statistics are based on estimation as against it if the field of inquiry is limited the enumeration method is appropriate for example it can be verified by enumeration whether 20 students are present in the class or 10 workers are working in the factory so this is the enumerator or estimated method you can either estimate or you can enumerate eighth is your collected in a systematic manner statistics should be collected in a systematic manner before collecting them a plan must be prepared no conclusion can be drawn from statistics collected in haphazard manner so whenever you are collecting any statistic it should not be in a very fast manner you should collect the data properly in a systematic manner so these are some of the features of your statistics in a plural noun i hope you like our video please download our scholars learning app and enjoy the learning experience with us